Hey guys, what's up? This is the second episode of Chan Adventures, and we're going to talk about letting go. That's right. This episode, we're going to talk about packing and, Pack le and letting go. Letting go. Packed up the TV and uh, disconnected all the DVD, Blu-ray players, everything, the game consoles. This has served me well for the last 10 years. Now we're packing up. So bye TV. My TV's gone. Look at our living room. Where's that TV? Gone! He sold it! <laughs> no more TVs! Whoa. Look at our living room, CJ. How is it like to like let go of things? Ah, oh, it's been tough. Uh, letting go of things, I <laughs> it's been hard because like a lot of things have sentimental value, uh, which means like I have attachments to it. They, they you look at it and you go, should I throw this away? I don't know. I better not, but I should because we need the space and it's taking too much space. Today is a big day because why? We're just selling our couches. We are getting rid of our couches. These couches have served us for many years. It's been very soft and comfortable. You know, our kids, ever since they were born, we held them as babies on this couch. Oh man. I was going to a new home, uh, getting taken care of. So that's part of life, letting go and, and moving on. So buy couches. Um, I just remembered we had a lot of company, a lot of people that came over and also uh, did a lot of premarital counseling uh, on these couches, you know, and uh, a lot of memories. And uh, it's time to say bye. So, so. We ended up throwing a lot of stuff away. So it's, it's, it's hard, but actually at the same time, it actually is a really good feeling. It's like a cleansing, like a purging. Um, here, let me take that from you. What do you think, uh, in your perspective as a 10-year-old? It's really sad. Yeah, tell us about that. Why is it sad? Because you're like giving away a whole bunch of stuff I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give yeah. away! <laughs> you give that away. That's just trash. I have no attachments to that. What kind of things have you been helping out with? Packing the away and stuff. Yeah, great. So mommy cooking here with our Instapot, which we are bringing along. We can't let that go. Uh, how has this whole cleaning process and packing and throwing away all this stuff been for you? Uh, it's been great for me. I've been wanting to clean up our house for a really long time. And now I have some people that are starting to do the same. Um, it hasn't been easy. There's been a lot of yelling in the house. It's true. It's not the most fun activity to pack and move. And with all the things happening and all the craziness in the house, but you know, when you see a lot of clutter all over the place, it is unsettling. And so it is stressful and brings out the worst sometimes. So yes, I've been very stressed throughout this whole process and it has not been pretty. And a lot of throwing away stuff, but we've also met a lot of neighbors who picked up a lot of our free things and stuff that we sold off. So I That's think it's a really good it's process true. for us because we've been meaning to do it slowly over the years. And doing something like this really exposes a lot of the weaknesses that we have in our house and why we need to let go and why it's really important to not hold on to your things. Um, and so especially in our house, since our house is so small, everything is seen. And so now that everything is gone, now I can actually see the walls and see the space that we do have. Thank you, Corinne. <laughs> and um, now I think like if we were to stay in our house, what could we do differently? But we're not gonna be here anymore. So that's see, okay. See, probably was part of her plan all this time to move so that I'm I could, not trying I could, to manipulate I could finally anything. throw away all the junk that she's been wanting to throw away. Good plan though, and it worked, it worked. But uh, you know, we're, we're going through it and we're getting through it and it's becoming real, especially, especially as our house is getting more and more empty. This is, this is getting real. What I thought was impossible and what I still think is impossible, God is making possible. So yeah. <laughs> so a life lesson uh, that we've learned is that when we accumulate a lot of stuff, well, all this stuff end up kind of having a grip or a hold on you. And moving allows you to have a time where an opportunity to be able to get rid of all this stuff so that all these things that used to have a hold on you, you just get rid of, just get rid. 
uh, I would not be doing this if we did not move. And so if we weren't moving. So it's really good that, that we have this opportunity to do that because things would just accumulate. Our house would just get more and more cluttered. So this is definitely a great opportunity to get rid of things. If you're not moving and you wanna get rid of things, I know it's gonna be hard because you're like, why would I need to throw these away? But do it because it's such a good process, okay? And not hopefully, really. yeah, not really, you don't think so? No. Uh, why? <laughs> why? Because it's sad. Yeah, okay. Well, a lot of things are sad, but it's necessary, you know, because then you make room for other things and new things, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, thank you for joining us in this Chen adventure of uh, talking about packing and letting go, and uh, hope you uh, follow us, continue to follow us on this yep. Chen Adventures, and how do they do that? Click subscribe! Click like! Yep, or you know what to do. See Woo! ya! Woo! <laughs> life lesson. So life lesson. Okay. <laughs> Bye couches.